hi my bad little things today i'm going to be showing you guys one of the most beautiful nail sets i think i have done on myself in a really long time and beetles was nice enough to send me all of these products to use and also to share with you guys i honestly give everything they sent me a 10 out of 10 i love it all specifically these jelly gel polishes that they just came out with these are a staple in any new nail text collection. I feel like these are amazing, especially if you're looking for a variety of new gel polishes and you're just looking for that like cover acrylic look. They did an amazing job with picking out the colors because there is a shade in here for anyone in any skin tone, especially if you're like a gel X nail tech like me and you don't really use like the cover acrylics anymore and you're trying to find like something similar. I feel like this is a really good starter kit just to have a variety like on hand at all times. They did the colors really well and also I love how buildable they are because you can just do one coat for kind of like a sheer look. You can do two coats to kind of have that like really cover acrylic type of look and then you can go to like three coats if you want to have like a really solid color. But like I said, they did a really good job at picking out these colors. There's going to be one in here for anyone and everyone. These are the swatches that I did and I also did them matte on the back so that my clients can see that. And this one, I was really, really, really excited about. I don't even know. Like, I got super giddy over these because I am such a glitter shimmer type of girl. And these colors in this one pretty much are similar to the first one that I just showed you, except they have shimmer in them. And I like these because you can use them as a topper or you can use them on, on their own. But that's pretty much what I do in the nail set today is I'm using um, kind of the cohesive colors in the solid and also the shimmer just to create this beautiful nude shimmery base. And these just have the most beautiful, like subtle, almost like early 2000s lip gloss type of look in my opinion like they just glide on so nicely they're not thick they're not chunky they don't have like big glitter in them it's just the most subtle most beautiful shimmer like it really does just remind me of a really juicy lip gloss like i don't know i was really excited about these and i'm happy to have these in my collection now this is what they look like in the sun you can see the beautiful little sparkle now i'm going to show you guys their mirror chrome powders i was happy to get these too because um i feel like so many people have just been getting back into chrome and especially the white chrome has been super popular and these are amazing because they have they're kind of similar to the white chrome but they have different colored tints like that one has pink this one's kind of like a bluish purple this one's a completely white chrome and this one is kind of like a yellowy angel type of vibe i don't know they're just beautiful and now I'm going to show you these amazing charms they sent me. These are probably the most beautiful butterfly charms that I have seen in a really long time. And I love that they give you gold and silver to choose from. So I do have a code for all of this stuff. It's Bad Little Tin. Um, you can use it at checkout and Amazon. You can go to, you can find all this stuff in my Amazon storefront too. But this is their Gelix kit. And honestly, I was really surprised by this because I didn't know that it came with a light and everything and also like a nail tip cutter, but I got the medium almond ones, which ended up being really, really perfect for me. So now we're going to get into the nail set, which is what we've all been waiting for. I'm just going to go in and cut my nails down a little bit and just kind of shape them because they had gotten really long. It had been a while since I did my nails. I had my last set on for like three and a half weeks and I also got a new e-file you guys a client of mine was super nice enough to give it to me because she bought it and never uses it so I got a little upgrade and this one is super nice but I'm just taking a medium grit sanding band and prepping my nails making sure that everything is smooth and I'm taking my cuticle bit and I'm going to go around and get all of the dead cuticle and skin up around my nail bed just so that everything lays down a lot nicer and I'm just going to cleanse a little bit with alcohol um, just to cleanse the dust and also just to dehydrate my nails. Now, I already picked out all of my nail sizes. Um, I do have to say that these nail tips do run a little bit small, so just keep that in mind. If you have someone who has a little bit of flatter or slightly curved nail beds and you have small nails, these are going to be for you because usually my ring finger and my pointer finger are like a seven or run between like a seven to five. But with these, it was I had to use a three. So they run really, really small. So please keep that in mind. But I'm just prepping the inside of them because these are not pre-prepped. 
and now I'm going to be using the little lamp that they gave me. And usually I don't use these lights, but I actually like this one because it's just sensor. You don't have to press a button or anything. You can just put your finger under it and the light comes on. So I'm just going to use this, um, their glue gel base. Um, I'm going to put this on first before I do anything and cure it for 60 seconds. You want to make sure you put a base down before you start doing gel X because um, it just gives you a lot better adhesion. So this part I slowed down a little bit, which is good because I need to catch my breath. I feel like when I'm doing these videos, I'll just be talking so much and I just cannot breathe, <laughs> Lord. So anyway, I really liked these tips. Um, so far, so good. I've had them on for a little, like a couple of days now and I haven't had any issues. They are a little bit on the thinner side, but they're really sturdy, surprisingly. So, and the shape of these was really, really perfect for me it's like almond but almost it's kind of almost stiletto but rounded at the tip so more almond but uh, we'll call it almonetto <laughs> but anyway i'm painting the inside of the nail with a thin layer of the gel glue and then i'm going to put the majority of the gel at the base of the nail and then what you're going to do is you're going to place it at the cuticle of your nail and then you're going to rock all of the gel forward and then you're just going to slide it under the light and this light was pretty easy to use. I've used other ones in the past and they were just really difficult and I honestly hated using them. But I feel like the Beatles one for some reason is just easier and I feel like they have a lot more space in between the light and the stand that you set your finger on. I think that's the issue with a lot of the other ones that come in kits is that they're so small that you don't have enough room to like hold the tip down and put your finger under it at the same time if you know what I mean if you've struggled with that scenario you understand what I mean but honestly if you're thinking about switching to gel X or if you're just like someone who does your nails at home I really recommend this kit because it honestly comes with a good amount of stuff and you also get a file you get a file you get the tips you get the gel glue um it's just the only thing that your doesn't really come with is like a dehydrator um, primer if you use a primer and then of course like your top coat and all of that you'd have to get separately but beetles has everything and honestly it's one of the most affordable brands on amazon right now and i really stand by them because they have really improved their products and they're also i feel like they've improved their quality too and also just the packaging looks a lot nicer and a lot more professional in my opinion i feel like beetles is definitely one of those brands that has just been like up and coming but they've stayed affordable they've kept their prices the way that everybody needs them to be but i cured these for a full 60 seconds after um you know doing the whole process and now i'm going in and i'm just filing the little tab part off of the tips and also to mention i did go in with the glue gel all the way under the nail and then i also top coated it underneath underneath the nail to me i feel like this just adds a little bit of more strength to the gel x nails and also if your gel glue kind of overspills over your free edge it doesn't really matter because you're just going to go in and you're going to like paint the whole inside of it anyway um, and now I'm just kind of taking down the little edges and just making it seamless with my five in one bit. This is a medium five in one bit and you can find these on Amazon or in your nail supply store. And then I'm just kind of buffing the top of them just to prep for us to go in with the design and I'm going to cleanse them off again with my manicure brush and alcohol. This is 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, now these are the colors that I chose C389 and C530. This pinkish nude honestly just blew me away. I love it so much. This is probably going to be one that I reach for a lot for myself because I feel like it just complements my skin tone really, really well. And like I said, I feel like there's just a color in here for everyone. And I only did one coat of this, by the way. So I feel like one coat was perfect because now I'm going to go in with like the cohesive shimmer one because the colors matched absolutely perfectly. And it just gave the most beautiful base I think I've ever seen on myself. Like, I don't want to take these nails off. So since I'm doing chrome, I am going to be wiping the base with alcohol just to make sure that there's no sticky layer and that the chrome is not going to stick to my base so i am taking their 
it's funny I used I just bought the Beatles black and white so that's what I'm using their white gel polish and honestly I really love it it is a very good painting gel like it has a really good consistency but I'm mixing a little bit of top coat in with it so that it's it makes it a little more non-wipe than sticky so that we can still have that kind of chrome effect so if you have a white or a black that has a little bit of a sticky layer you can add a little bit of non-wipe top coat to make sure that um, it doesn't really leave a sticky a sticky layer on top so you can just go straight in with your chrome instead of having to wipe it or top coat it to kind of get that mirror effect I feel like that's a really really good hack to know but I am just painting my French tips um, this was probably the smoothest application of French tips that I've had in a really long time I don't know if it was the shape of these nails or what but I loved how these French tips came out and I'm also using a brush from Amazon it's a new nail art brush that um, I found. Well, it came in a pack, but this is the chrome that I'm going to be using. I'm using that like yellowish blue one because it just kind of gave a really angelic feel to me. And I feel like it was going to go perfect with this set. So I'm just taking the little sponge applicator that came with the chrome and I'm applying it to just the white part only. Um, I, did, I didn't really have any of the chrome stick to my base, which is really good, but I was really precise when I was applying it. And I'm just kind of dusting that off. And I really like the applicators that it came with because it has a sponge in and it also has a brush in. So if you want to use the chrome as a more glitter, you can with the brush. So now I picked out all of my little butterfly charms. I had to use these because... Like I said, I'm obsessed and I honestly don't want to take them off. They're so pretty. I kind of wish I would have made these into press on so that I could keep them and not have to like file them down and lose them forever. But I'm pretty much just placing the butterflies how I want them and kind of spacing them out just so they're not like super cluttered. But I used the same butterfly on my pointer finger and my ring finger and I kind of did those the same way just to kind of make it really cohesive. But a good way to apply charms is especially when they don't have rhinestones i feel like this only applies if the charms you're using don't have rhinestones on them so just use like a really thick rubber based gel or you know rhinestone gel or whatever to place them on and then after you place them you'll top coat the nail so i always top coat my charms that just don't have any type of rhinestones on them just make sure that you're really covering them because this is going to guarantee that you don't lose them they don't get snagged or pulled off because we all know that that happens but if you have like those metallic charms like the like the crosses and all that you can top coat those and i honestly recommend to because you know it's not real silver so it's gonna fade so but if you top coat it the color will stay and they won't fade especially when you have like the gold ones even silver because it kind of turns copper but <clears throat> anyway i am oiling myself up this is the final look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please check out beetles on amazon you don't have to use my link you can just go there yourself and purchase their products but i really do recommend them especially for beginner nail techs or even if you're just doing your nails at home. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.